Out just before midnight, police locked down a portion of Packard Avenue until just a few hours ago. We're told one person is in custody. Our Michelle Fiore has the latest on the investigation. Well, the victim was shot once in the arm and has since been treated and released from Freighter Hospital. Well, neighbors here say that that's amazing to them. They heard multiple gunshots fired within a short amount of time, and they say it's surprising that anybody survived. The first couple of shots rang out, and it was like three or four. And then after that, uh, they kept coming rapidly, like pop, 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 pop. Witnesses had no idea what happened. The shots echoed through this Cudahy neighborhood. Zoe Sawinski's thoughts immediately turned to the safety of her son. I was just pretty much worried for his protection, and yeah, it does really scare me. Police tell us a gunman opened fire near a crowd of people. The reason remains unclear. It was uh, some folks accumulated behind the building. Um, hanging out. Well, shots were fired behind this apartment building, which police did evacuate, but neighbors say the evacuations didn't happen until daybreak, and that has them concerned. Well, I feel really unsafe here now. Authorities went door to door looking for a second suspect. Next to the scene in a pick and save, police told half a dozen workers there to stay inside and away from windows. He could have, you know, grabbed one of us. Who knows? You know, so it's, it's a scary situation to, you know, to be involved in. I mean, it's like right next door. It is neighbors understanding that neither the victim nor the shooter live here. They say it is common in the summertime for people to gather outside. Reporting in Cudahy, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. Now, again, one person is in custody. Police tell us they're still searching for another person who may have been involved in that shooting. Look for updates on air and online. Also overnight, a